Hey, what's going on everybody? I'm Slava Natorsky and welcome to the channel. Uh, we're doing the second part in my series on the SHOT Show 2021 new guns being released. Uh, first video was the pistols, so if you want, go ahead and check that out. This one, we're going to be highlighting the new rifles. Now, this is all on gunmagwarehouse.com. So I find this is a pretty good uh, website to actually look up these things. If you would like to keep up on content like this, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. We're trying to slowly build our way up to 1,500 subs and then up to 2,000 subs after that. So it would be greatly appreciated. All right, so let's scroll down here. We can start going over the rifles. All right, so let's make sure we are in the right spot. Here we go. So the first rifle that we want to see here is the Accuracy International ATX rifle. That's this thing right here. This kind of looks like a Ruger precision rifle. This is very nice looking. I like that paint job too. But it has AI Accuracy International has released a new bolt gun, the ATI or the, I'm sorry, the AI ATX rifle. There's a lot of buzz about it. it comes with a switchable barrel and in, in precision rifle circles. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see this one out in the range, and I fully agree. Like I said, it looks like a, a Ruger Precision rifle. I'd love to get my hands on it. Next up, we have the KDX Defense CDX-50 Tremor 2050 BMG. And that is a crazy mouthful to say, especially five times fast. But this thing looks like a Barrett 50. That is a beautiful looking rifle. So we'll go down here and take a look what they say about it. The CDX-50 Tremor is a 50 caliber precision rifle built to military spec. The rifle is capable of delivering a huge payload accurately while maintaining very manageable recoil. It's a lightweight bolt action rifle that brings new technology to the 50 BMG of years gone. KDX Defense says this is the ultimate extreme range anti-material rifle. It's beautiful. I would love to get my hands on that, but I am also not rich. <laughs> Next up, the Colt Kanata C20 sniper rifle. This is a good looking rifle. Nice AR, I like the buttstock there. This is a 7.62 NATO, so also 308. Semi-automatic sniper weapon was developed to support the Canadian Armed Forces, the CAF. And this reports, re <laughs> this supports the requirement for all intermediate sniper weapons. This will be interesting to see more about at the SHOT Show. Davidson's Wilson Combat PPE Carbine. So we have another AR here. This new carbine is outfitted with a LE profile match grade barrel, a two-stage trigger, mid-length gas system with a low profile gas block, and a half by 28 threaded muzzle. Attached to the muzzle is a compensator, which is the Q-Comp muzzle device. So it is a good looking compensator, all of that right out of, out of the box. It's a forged upper and lower. And the PPE carbine is based on the WC-15 platform, which is also chambered in a 5.56 NATO with a 10.4 inch M-Lock rail and has Wilson Rogers super stock. So good looking rifle. And you see here coming up next, the Franchi Momentum Elite Varmint. The Elite Varmint rifle is available in three new caliber offerings, 223, 22, 250 Remington, and 224 Valkyrie. Good looking bolt action rifle. You can see a compensated end on the barrel there. All in all, I like it. Looks like it has a rail on top, so put your scopes on. So everything you need right out of the box. And it looks very comfortable to shoot. Next is the Franchi Momentum, now in 350 Legend. So again, we have the same rifle here. Looks like a threaded barrel on the end, decent ergonomics. You have your rails on top to, well, split rail on top to add a rifle as, or a scope as well. So this offers a new color option to its line of momentum rifle line and also addresses certain states hunting regulations requiring straight walled center fire cartridges with the addition of the momentum chambered in 350 legend. The latest offering joins three popular calibers in the momentum line including 6.5 Creedmoor, 308 Winchester, and 300 Winchester Magnum. Henry has some new repeating arms coming out. Now Henry is replaced. Henry Repeating Arms is replacing all steel frames, center fire, lever action rifles, and shotguns to include a side loading gate, while still retaining the removable magazine tube based on the original rifle patented in 1860. So Henry has always made amazing firearms, and now we're actually getting the only thing that's had me from buying one in the past is we are getting the actual 
side loading gate. That's really nice and I would really love to get my hands on one of these now. So here we go. In the new Henry Rifle lineup is single shot in 350 Legend, 450 Bushmaster, new original BT Henry 200th Anniversary Edition in 4440, steel lever action side gate 3030, color case hardened lever action side gate 3030 and 4570, steel wildlife edition side gate in 3030, 4570, those are not in the picture, steel lever action side gate in 4570, all weather lever action side gate 3530 and 4570 big bulls big boy steel side gate 44 mag spe and special 45 colt 357 magnum 38 special big boy all weather side gate in 44 magnum and special 45 colt 357 magnum and 38 special we also have the big boy color case hardened side gate in 45 magnum and special 45 colt and 357 38 special so very nice. Those, I love that they're adding that side gate. Next up, we have the Istanbul Arms Monza. I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. 308 bolt action rifle. This is from Istanbul Arms. It's a simple position bolt action rifle with a 4 plus 1 capacity. Barrels free floated. Button rifled with 4 grooves. 4 sets and has a 1 12th right handed 20 inch and 22 inch and 1 10th 24 inch. 24 inch right handed twist rate and finished with a 11 degree crown. So good looking rifle there. I've never heard of Istanbul Arms before. That'd be interesting to check them out. Alright, JP Sauer and Son Synchro XTC Camo Green Carbon Fiber Rifle. I do love this finish on this rifle. That is good looking. So this is Germany's oldest manufacturer of hunting firearms now has a new model in the flagship S4040 series. The bolt action rifle weighs in at 6.1 pounds. According to the company, it delivers unsurpassed German precision, world class accuracy, and reliability in a bolt action rifle. The S404 Synchro XTC is available in all current calibers of the original S404 series. Next up is a great looking muzzle loader here. This is Lyman Great Plains Signature Series by Peter Soli. I'm so horrible at pronouncing these. The next gen series maintains Lyman's greatest plain, Great Plains design and look with double set triggers and black and metal furniture with enhancements including vintage style main, flat main spring lock and walnut stock. Sorry, I'm apparently having issues reading today. So that'd be very nice. I know my uncle used to love his black powders. I've always been meaning to get into them. Sour Ultralight S101 Highland XTC Carbon Fiber Rifle. I'm really digging these carbon fiber finishes on these stocks. They're really beautiful in my opinion. Sorry, got to start distracted for a second, had a message. Alright, the Sour S101 XTC Highland Carbon Fiber Rifle is available in all current calibers of the S101 series. Barrel lengths range from 20 to 22 inches, weighs 5.4 pounds, so this would be very good looking rifle and very accurate. Next up, Red Arrow Weapons Raw 10, AR-10 and 308. So it looks like there's a couple new rifles from Red Arrow Weapons this year that might be featured in SHOT 2021. This rifle comes, this rifle, this is weird typing to have here. But this rifle has a midnight bronze Cerakote finish with an 18 inch fluted stainless steel barrel with a 110 twist rate. Very good looking rifle here if you ask me. Uh, let's see, this uses a rifle length gas system, a melanite coated red arrow weapon system, uses a multi-caliber bolt, DPMS style barrel extension, and a high pressure firing pin. Comes with a 20 round Magpul P mag. And that is included, so speaking of Magpul, this 39 inch AR-10 uses a Magpul ACSL carbine stock and Magpul X grip. So very nice. Uh, some more features about it, 2.5 pound single stage CMC trigger, 15 inch M-Lock Ross rails ties together with the forged T7075 aluminum upper and lowers. Its BCGs are put through a black nitrite process and have a high pressure firing pin. So very nice. 
Next up is Raw 15 300 Blackout Rifle from Red Arrow Weapons. The 300 AAC Rifle package from Red Arrow Weapons features a free floated 16 inch barrel and a 15 inch M Lock Raw Rail. The diamond back barrel features a 4150 chrome molly construction with a black nitrite coating process and operates with a 1 8 twist rate. A drop-in 3.5 pound single stage trigger and mil spec 8620 magnetic particle nitride coated bolt carrier group are just some of the premium features. Very nice. Lots of upgrades that are hard to pronounce. <laughs> Next up, Savage Arms Impulse Straight Pull Rifle. The impulse rifles are built for speed and the smooth bolt allows or, I'm sorry, the smooth bolt throw allows a shooter to cycle rounds intuitively without the need for the standard four changes of direction common with a conventional bolt's path of travel. When every second counts, impulse reduces split times and allows the shooter to manipulate the bolt without losing their cheek weld. That's very nice. I think this would be a cool rifle to get hands on with. Savage Backcountry Extreme Series Rifle. So these are two new models. The first one, kind of a cool looking camo here. This 110 ultralight camo rifle, Savage teamed up with Proof Research to craft a 110 that comes in under six pounds. The carbon fiber wrapped stainless steel barrel and melanite skeletonized receiver help minimize the weight. Very good looking. And this one's kind of a more traditional camo. And this is the Timberling. It's built with a fluted barrel, overmold surfaces, target crown, and omni port muzzle brake. Its action is secured three-dimensionally along the entire length with the AccuStock internal chassis and AccuFit system. This lets hunters customize the length of pull and comb height of the Realtree Escape synthetic stock. So that's another good looking bolt action rifle here. Specna Arms SAE24 Edge Carbine Replica in Chaos Bronze. This is a good looking AR. I kind of like the black and bronze mix. Kind of looks nice. Maybe if we had a little bit more bronze mixed here, it would look less half and half. But uh, the Arms Edge line of replicas combines an array of solutions and technologies hard to find in other replicas on the market. This replica has complete licensed Rock Rigger Arms markings and M Lock compatible RRA lightweight free floated rail, the QD pistol grip, and a double sided tactical swing swivel. So very good looking rifle there. Springfield Armory 2020 Hunting Rifles. So Springfield's new line of hunting rifles features Cerakote finished action with an integral recoil lug and is machined from pre-hardened stainless steel with EDM cut raceways to hold tight tolerances. The fluted bolt can be disassembled without tools and employs dual cocking cams and an enhanced extractor for high pressure loads. According to the company, the result is a production rifle that delivers levels of precision usually found only in custom rifles. So this is very nice looking. Springfield's definitely standing, jumping up their quality. Stoger, the S8000E tax suppressed air rifle. So now we have some suppressed air rifles, which these are kind of becoming more and more common, especially as ammunition prices rise. I'm noticing more and more people are getting into them, and I'll be honest, I am feeling the urge towards getting into them myself. I think it's a good idea. So this one, the Stoger S8000E Tax Break Open Barrel, cocks the action and is unleashed with a two-stage decimal trigger to produce the hard-hitting 1200 feet per second in a .117 caliber and 1000 feet per second in a .22 caliber. Uh, these muscle velocities are using alloy pellets and the new rifle is available with a black synthetic stock in either .77 or .22. Nose air, not .22 long rifle, .22 caliber. Both caliber offerings are paired with a 3x9 or 329x40 millimeter adjustable objective scope. So that's really cool for an air, air rifle. All right, so Sword Defense Purge E, another AR here. The folks at Sword Defense addressed issues with the newly adopted M855A1 ammo, including fouling and gas 
blowback, which we're told this new upper reduces. If you're in government sales, you can take part in the purchase of the Purge E, which by the way stands for Pistol Upper Receiver Group Enhanced. So that's pretty cool. Alright, so Traditions has some items coming out here. We got a another muzzle loader. The Pursuit XT by Traditions is outfitted with a VAPR twist barrel and a 124 twist. Additionally, the rifle has been upgraded to include the Elite XT trigger system, rebounding hammer, and manual cross block trigger safety. That is a good looking muzzle loader. Next up is Uberti's USA Courtney, Courtney rifle in 4570. So the 1885 Courtney stalking rifle carries the name of famed hunter, explorer, and conservationist F. Courtney Celius. I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong. Originally available in 303 British only, this is now available in 4570. That's awesome. Weatherby Vanguard, now in synthetic green with new caliber 6.5 precision. Alright, our PRC. The new synthetic green features the classic Monte Carlo Gryptonite green stock with a bead blasted matte black blued finish, available chambered in multiple calibers, in now including the 6.5 PRC. So these are all the new rifles that we have on this, and this is again on GunMagWarehouse.com. Really cool, looking forward to seeing a lot more coming out from these. But we hope you found this information informative and the video helpful. If you did, go ahead and toss us a like. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to the channel. We're always trying to come out with new content. But that's all I have for you guys today. I'm looking forward to seeing these new rifles coming out. Can't wait to get my hands on some of them. Uh, some probably not because they're a bit pricey, but we'll see what happens. But anyways, stay safe, keep your family safe, I hope to see you all in the next video, and until then, take it easy. Later guys.